Let's do a little bit of combining like terms, variables, practice. Number one, four times n, that means four copies of n. That means n plus n plus n plus n. So that's the expanded form, just writing this out the long way. And the only reason we do this is to just to help our brain figure out what this weird kind of expression means. Now we're gonna evaluate this for when n equals three. So when n equals three, what is four times three? Or what is three plus three plus three plus three? And that would be 12. So four n equals 12 when n equals three. Let's see if you guys can do numbers one through six. Three times x, well that means three copies of x. Expanded, that means x plus x plus x. And when we're going to evaluate it, when x equals 5, that means 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 3 times 5. And that would equal 15. Let's go backwards. I have the expanded form. What would it be as an algebraic expression? Well, I have n plus n plus n plus n. I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 copies of n. That would be 7 copies of n, or I could just write 7n like that. Either way are the same. Evaluate it for when n is 7. Hmm, 7 times 7, or 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, blah, blah is 49. Well, this one's a bit interesting. We have negative 5y. There's two ways that I could write this. I could say negative 5, that's the opposite of five copies of y. So I could say the opposite of all of this stuff, five copies of y. Well, that would be y plus y plus y plus y plus y. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. The opposite of five copies of y. This entire value, we're going to take the opposite of it. Um, another way I could write this is I could basically say I have the opposite of y and the opposite of y and the opposite of y. I have the opposite of y, the opposite of y, the opposite of y. And I have five of these opposite of y's. This value and this value is going to end up being the same thing. What happens when y is 2? Well, if I go ahead and figure out what's in my parentheses, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 10. The opposite of positive 10 is negative 10. So the opposite of 5y, the opposite of 5 times 2 is negative 10. Um, and if I did it this way, well, the opposite of 2 and the opposite of 2 and the opposite of 2, negative 2 and negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2 is also negative 10. Let's see if you guys can do this one. <laughs>